Hello guys and welcome to a tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make another one or a second World of Warcraft private server. So as you can see I already got three. This is of course a test. That's my third one to see if I could make a third one. So here's my second and here's the one we was at. Yeah and sometimes they may lag a little bit so you don't get in there like right ahead but as you see all of them works totally fine and I've been playing on them too and they do work pretty fine so yeah that's actually kinda cool you know so yeah the server works and yeah the server works uh, really good and yeah fuck Fuck me. I just just took the wrong fucking folder. Uh that was not the folder I was supposed to show you. Well I was not actually supposed to show you a folder anyways. Alright. Here we go. Uh for fuck's sakes. Ah, there you go. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. For fuck's sakes. Alright. I don't know. I believe you can read this. It says ArcMU and server. Like here it says ArcMU and down there is a server. I, I'm guessing you can see that. Like it's not that pixelated, I hope. I can maybe take it a little bit further away so it doesn't seem that really pixelated though. But then I don't know if you. I don't know what kind of screen you're watching on, but I'll keep on going. So, first. You ha I'm just guessing you already know where to find everything like I'm just guessing that you already know how to make a World of Warcraft 1 server so you know where everything is placed and stuff I'm just guessing this guessing that but what I'm using it's a lot of different kinds that you can use but what I'm using here is ArcMU so we, what you want to do first in this folder is to go into the ArcMU folder and what I have is the Wrath of the Lich King Wrath of the Lich King uh, game server thingy lingy so yeah and what you want to do is copy it and you then you want to fuck the, sorry about that and after you copy it you want to paste it and then what says of course copy but then you can name it into basically whatever you want sorry I didn't I forgot to zoom but that's the one that you were looking at before before I changed the picture and then I showed the one underneath so what you want to do is of course copy it and then it says the name of it when you paste it and probably copy on the end with a paragraph like you know that that little line that goes out there but it doesn't matter but what you want to do then is you can keep it like that or you can like change the name to like whatever you want of the folder name to be what I did I just kept the name and just added number two at the end and this is what you have to always do when you make a new realm you always have to make a new folder for your realm for this to work always I also have a third one it says World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, and then it says 3, where it says 2 there. And that's underneath here, you can't see because I didn't take it in the picture. So yeah, you want to make another one of this. Like, you want to copy this and paste it there. And then when you've done that, you want to go into the folder and find ArcEMU, ArcEMU, Logon Server. And you want to delete it. Let me zoom in for you. Here's ArcMU logon server, or whatever logon server name it named, or whatever it's named at your server thing. You want to delete it. Then you want to go into the configs. In if you have a configs, I don't know what else it's called, where you can find out where you can change the name of your realm and where you can check your worlds and your world thingy and all those stuff well at least in mine it's called config and I'm guessing that 
most of the time the folder is called config so you enter the config folder inside the new copied folder you go into the copied folder where you deleted arc emu login server then you go into the configs folder in the same copied folder and you delete the logon config the logon.config or dot conf or c o n f how uh, however you say it you know whatever you call it so yeah you want to delete that too and then this is what you should have now this is the config folder i was talking about let me just zoom it in for you sorry that's a little too much ah, there yeah that was the config folder i was talking about and now you only have the arc mu world and this one you want to keep do not delete any more stuff keep everything as it is all right so after you've done that you can go into well sorry i totally forgot i had another picture showing you how the config folder will look like now so this is how the config folder will look like now this is the world i was talking about this is the realms i talk about so you want to go back into configs and then you want to enter realms or go into that realms.config and then after you've done that you want to yeah and I've been drawing over some of them just in case some of you yeah I'm using Hamachi by the way but I draw over there too well of course well I don't think I yeah well you know hackers you never know <laughs> I don't want someone to just randomly join me you know this is just just a server I use with me and my friends basically we just want to try out you know so yeah, here I circled around this number, 8130, it might say something else for you, but I also circled around the number 30. For me, in the original folder, it said 29, and I changed it to 30. And just you know, I also, in my third server folder, I changed that to 31. So yeah. And then you can just keep on going like that, and you can make as many servers as you want. And, and then I went into the... I saved that, and then I went into the worlds server. And I went to this, change world, the name of the world in the world database. Has, in world database, and I go to name. And I changed world to world 2. Then I went to character database or whatever it says for you. I don't know. It might say something else for you. I don't know. So here in the original folder for me it says characters. So try to change it to characters 2. That didn't work. I changed it to logon 2 and it didn't work and I didn't know why. But then I found out when I that I forgot to put the characters from my other folder into the logon 2. So I did that and it worked because characters 2 didn't want to work for some reason. It didn't want to load up the server so I had to change it to login 2 to make it even load the arc mu for the new for the new uh, server and I changed it to login 2 because I already have a login 1, you know, so it doesn't use the login 1 config that I or no, not the config but the folder I have you know, so it doesn't conflict with the other realm that I have. Even though it doesn't say logon in the other one. But it might say logon for you and then you just change it logon too. And make sure that you pick up the... Uh, we'll come to that later, of course. Well, here again. In the world server port, uh, I changed 29 to 30. Whatever it says to you, you just change the number to ciphers. If it says 27, for example, or like 18, you just change 18 to 19. That's basically it. Or whatever you want to change it to, but I don't really recommend it because I haven't actually tested that, so I don't know. 
I don't know. And also, it's just so you just you can just change a number upwards. So you just bam, 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 and then you just have control on which one is which, you know. So it doesn't get like messy and like, oh, what server is this again? And then you deleted the wrong server and just, you know, get pissed at yourself or something. So yeah. You just change that from 29 to 30, at least that's what I did, and because that's what it said at mine, original one. Well, this is from the copied folder. Again, I'm telling you this is the copied folder I changed. The world's config in the configs folder of the copied folder. If you understood that. I might get confusing sometimes, but hello, this is my first tutorial, I think. I don't really remember if I made another tutorial, but here we are again. Here we have. Wait, I think I forgot something. I forget to zoom. There, you can get a closer look. And here, you can get a closer look. You can pause the video if you want. And I don't know if I zoomed into this, so I'm just gonna do that. Here you can get a closer look. And yeah, you can just change this to anything you want. It's the name of the realm. And yeah, now you want to open Navicad or Heidi, SQL, whatever you use. And then you want to connect to your MySQL. Well, you have to have you have your MySQL thingy opened. I'm guessing you already know how to create a server, but not two. So I'm just getting you know how to open a MySQL. At least I have to open MySQL to even connect to this. Well, I don't know how it works for you, but that's how it works for me. And after you connected, you should now... What you should do now is make a Logon2 and a World2. Then you want to open this one and open this one. And this one, and this one. The, you want to open the logon and the logon2, then go into the tables of logon, copy everything, and go into logon2, and copy everything. And yes, I deleted my characters list. Why? Uh, well, I put it all the characters thing into the logon. So I don't have to change that anymore. So yeah, that's why it doesn't say characters there anymore. And I changed also it to logon, so it doesn't say characters anymore. Anyways, so you want to take everything from logon, and if you have the characters folder too, you open the characters and go into tables, copy everything from there as well, and then paste that also to logon too. And you can also paste it into logon one. Logon 1, I'm just going to call it 1 so you understand which logon I'm talking about, even though it just say logon. So you want to take everything from characters and paste it into logon as well, the logon 1. If you want to, that's optional, that's your own choice, but it makes everything a little bit easier. But you don't have to. But just what you have to do is copy everything from logon, paste it into logon 2, and then take everything if you have the characters folder. You want to copy everything from there and paste it into logon2 and that's done. You want to go into world, copy everything from world, open world2 and paste everything into world2. I think you understand how to do this or whatever. Yeah, I'm guessing you do understand. <sighs> I hope you do. Or this might not be the best tutorial for you. I don't this is my first tutorial. Tutorial. I repeat, this is my first tutorial. So it might not be good. I might be talking too quickly. But that's because I want to keep this as short and simple as possible. I don't know if I'm simple, but I'm trying my best. Yeah. So now you are in the MySQL. I know, or you are in the Navicat. Heidi SQL or whatever. Here you can see I opened it and opened that because I'm gonna take into the tables and copy and then tables there and copy and then like I'm gonna go into the tables of world, copy, 
paste it into Quarrel 2. Yeah, you will get to see that here, that I take everything and copy them. And then I copy that as well. Well, after you copy anything from Logon, you want to paste it right into Logon 2. Then you want to copy everything from World and paste it into World 2. And after you've done that, save save it if you have to, like, save it if not, it has automatic save. But you want to save it, then you can quit Navicat and basically go into your original server. Original server for your whatever World of, War World of Warcraft you are playing. And open logon.exe and then arcmu.exe for your original one. And here you can see two ArcMUs underneath here. This is for my world server or my realm, my second realm. This is for my third realm. So yeah, here's the realms. The two I made, so I have one and two. And this is my first one that I ever got. And that's one, two, three realms we got here in the triangle right here. And this is the logon that you start with this one. And actually, you don't have to wait for this to load. You can just right ahead click how many realms you made and just let them load right ahead as well. And then don't forget to press the agree or like let it like, you know, like give it access, you know, so it can like load on your computer so you can play on the server too. I don't know how it works actually. But that's what you do and after you've done that well then you're basically done and you can you can uh, log on and uh, and yeah you well I have to tell you something first if you have characters in your first server and you go into the second server and you'll be like oh my gosh my characters are here as well well, what you want to do is to first you want to create a new character like blah 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 and just go into your original server and check if the character is there. Of course, it's not there because mine are working right now, but this is just to check if it works. And if you're more than one and you have one that you really don't care about in your original server well go to the new server you made or the realm I mean sorry and delete it and go to your back to your original realm and if your character is still there and you enter the new one and it's not in there then you can delete all the characters from there if not you want to keep them of course I don't know why you would do that but that's your own choice but you can delete all of them, then you can make new characters, and now you basically have uh, have uh, two realms. I got three, of course. And um, yeah, you just keep on repeating that and make, of course, new numbers at the port I told you, where the 8129 port thing, the, or 8129, if that makes you understand better. I don't know. But uh, like, you change that to 30, the, you want to change the 29 to 30, and you want to change the 30 to 31 to make another realm, but then you have to change the world 2 that you made, and the logon 2 to world 3, and world, and logon 3, sorry. And then you want to do the repeating of the server things, like, I'll show you maybe... Yeah, I'll just, um, well, this is uh, the computer I play on, My I have another computer that I make the servers on, and I just want to keep this quick and simple, and yeah, if you got it, well, if you have questions, send, put it down in the comments, and I'll answer them. I'm more understanding when I type than when I talk sometimes because when I talk I talk too quickly sometimes I don't know sometimes I might I don't know at least I heard some people saying that I talk too quickly which is why I'm telling you sorry if I am talking too quickly to you now because I'm not trying to talk too quickly I'm just 
trying to make this quick and simple and easy as possible and not using so much time because then you might actually not watch it but this but it might not actually be helpful but if it was help of helpful for you sorry I can't fucking talk either but if this was help for help what the if this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed it well I'm happy this this worked for you and might you make as many fucking realms as you fucking want now in your private fucking server oh yeah now pure suck out <laughs>